Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm here with another word in a song for you. And we've been discussing Hagar, Abram, and Sarai in their story. And um, so far we've looked at Sarai, and we've looked at a few of the pieces of her story. And first we looked at the, the injustice that's kind of happening between the two stories that are happening simultaneously, parallel to each other, Hagar's story, Sarai's story. And we looked at how... Do you say who's right, who's wrong, where's the moral compass, and how so often when we approach life, we look at it from a I'm right and you're wrong type of perspective. And and I wanted us to kind of look at that kind of um, critically. And also I wanted us to sit in the pain of Sarah. I wanted us to feel that pain of hopelessness and find that place inside ourselves where we maybe had been without hope, where things were taking too long, where we had given up on God and and to sit in that pain and remember that there's um, the presence of the Spirit of God with us even in the waiting and then we looked at the next piece of the story where Sarah makes some decisions and and you know I tried to admonish us and encourage us in that even in our poor decisions in our bad decisions that somehow our purpose still prevails and that we are too small um, that to for our purpose not to still um, move us forward and to prevail. And so I want to look at Hagar now and I want to look at her piece of the story and how she is on the receiving end of the bad decision. Have you ever been there? Have you ever been on the receiving end of someone's bad decision? Have you ever had to feel the pain of somebody's bad decision? Have you ever had to receive the consequence of someone's bad decisions? Then you know what it's like to be Hagar. And Hagar not only um, may have been um, in a situation of slavery, in a situation where she didn't have a whole lot of choices, she also then um, found herself with child now she's being, she has to be a mother. Then she finds herself in a situation where um, Sarah is not happy. And there's a point in the story where it says Sarah goes to Abram and Abram says, do whatever you want with her. And it says that there's some translations that say that Sarah actually beat her and Hagar ran away. This is the mother and father of our faith. This is who we say we're the sons and daughters of, you know, Father Abraham. And I just want us to remember how intricately connected we are to each other. That every good decision, bad decision we make affects so many, affects each other. We can't be separated from each other because we were made to be connected. And if you have found yourself on the other side of someone's bad decisions and if you found yourself on the other side of a decision made by someone that caused you so much pain I want you to see Hagar and I want you to remember that the next part of the story is if she finds herself with the living God and I want you to be encouraged that if you have been on the receiving end of someone's bad decision that God is waiting just around the corner.